Hello, welcome to the tutorial for designing a custom case using DesignSpark. Before you start, you will need to download an add-on, a custom case add-on, and you can get this from the DesignSpark website. Uh, if you go to DesignSpark, Design Centers, Design Center Home, DesignSpark custom case, and then there's a link here for the uh, add-on. So download that, um, install it, and then when you run DesignSpark, you'll get this button, the custom case button. To make that active, you need to create a new design. So file, new, design. Then the buttons become active. Uh, the, the first thing I like to do is, is, is rename this, the project you're, you're, going to, uh, you're going to call it. So um, I'll call it. Custom box one, revision one. So we'll go to the uh, custom case button and we'll design our case. Now we've got six different configurations we can choose from uh, a two U shell construction, the same two U, two U shell construction but with a uh, mounting flange, then a standard box with a screw on lid standard box screw on lid with mounting flanges and then a four part clip together design which is two U shapes that clip together with removable end panels and then the same design but with mount flanges. So we'll pick version one. If your Java is up to date you will see a live um, update of the, of the box as, as it's designed. These are the uh, the options we have here that we can we can choose from. I'll start by changing the color so that visually this this is better. We'll, so we'll pick a light gray, and this will update. Okay, you can see here the uh, the part number will also update as as we change the thickness and, and dimensions. So you can choose three mil or four mil. I'd recommend sticking with three mil unless your enclosure is something around three three hundred millimeters in size, something like that. Then you may need to go to four mil. So you can update the, di the dimensions. It does. You do have to wait for it to refresh each time uh, you change the dimension. You'll see the part number is now changed to grey and one hundred and seventy-five mil. We'll make the width eighty mil. This also up updates live each each time, so you can see it as 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 the dimensions change. Finally, we'll update the height. Once you're happy with the with the design, you can move. You can download it and then start to um, edit it by adding in holes and cutouts within DesignSpark. You can't change the size after this point because the part number. Um, details the size and it, the part number won't update if uh, when you stretch it so if you need to change the, the overall size you do have to come back to this point to, to change the dimensions so at this point we'll download it So it gives you a zip file, and this is your box uh, part number. So you'll need to unzip that to drag the file into your design. OK, there's your custom size uh, enclosure. So the next thing we want to show is how to add a cutout to this, uh, to this box. 
So the cutters you need to use uh, are also in the custom case uh, section. You go to cutters down there in the menu. Okay, so there's various different uh, cutters you can use. You have to use these. Um, you can't just simply cut a hole in that won't th that won't be registered. We need to uh, use use the special cutters. So in this instance, uh, we'll pick a slightly larger D-shaped hole, 8.5 mil, 8.5 mil. So these particular cutters, you can change the, the dimension using the, the percentage here. So if we want a slightly less uh, of a cut, we can change that to 90%. You'll see it's only a, only 10% of the circle is cut away. And then we can download that. I recommend for any cutters that you're using that you also download the part that's going to go in there. So in this instance, perhaps an SMA uh, connector, you could uh, download that file afterwards, put that into your uh, design to make sure that the, the fit is, is correct. So we'll save this. Same thing, we need to unzip it. We can do that by copying and pasting. You can either uh, drag these into the document or you can use the uh, insert file. That works, that works as well. Okay. So you can hide half the shell by going into the structure menu. And you can see the cutters on the on the inside there. So to uh, to make the cut, we need to move the cutter to either um, intersect the surface we want the hole on, or to at least butt up to the outside edge. So we can select the cutter. You can simply drag it and and move it into. Uh, position or there's a, a an up to command that we can we can use we'll just drag this down a bit So we select the cutter, we drag the yellow ball to the front surface, then we've got this up to move command, click that and then click the surface you want to move to and it will intersect. Next thing to cut the hole, I'm just going to move that up slightly more. And then if you need to move it across, you simply use the other uh, directional arrow. Now to cut the hole, we use the combined feature. So click combine, click the part we need the cut to be made into, click the cutter, and click the material you want to be removed. So it's important to click the right bit here. See that there, that's the bit we want. And then if you hide the cutter, you have the hole. If you want uh, another D-type, exactly the same size, you need to bring in another cutter. You can't use the same cutter for two holes, it won't register. So. Um, yeah, if you need a second hole, bring in bring in an, another cutter. You can just hide it, bring in the next one, and re reposition it. You can't uh, copy this this geometry and drag it across either. It, you have to have two cutters there. Um, 
for it to to register the cost. Okay, so once you're happy with the uh, with your box, I should I should mention these grooves can be um, used to snap in the, the the PCB. So instead of having uh, PCB pillars to screw the PCB down, there'll be grooves in this position as standard. So you can snap the the PCB into into position uh, to save on on, on uh, screwing it in. So to order your case, uh, there's an order custom case button. There's a warning here about um, needing multiple cutters for uh, each uh, each cut. And here you'll see this is your box type. This is the cutter that we've brought in, and this is the, the cost that's captured. And this is what the your box has been called. This is an important important feature because if you have two boxes that are very similar uh, or even identical with just different cutouts in, we'll need different reference reference names here. So um, also, if you make updates to it, you can you can uh, change this to Rev 1.2, 1.3, or whichever as it goes. But for different versions, we will need different different names. So once you're happy with with this, you can uh, proceed to order. You'll need to save your uh, design. Then hopefully your email client will um, open and produce this email where you can place your your order. If you like, you can type in your um, order number there for your own own system. And that's it. You press send. And that's it. The order will be underway. Thank you very much.